What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. We're back again, got some fishing for you finally. Let's get to it. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. I've got live bait with me. I got some worms and I got two-way spinner. And I also have a bait caster. It's an, just an insane amount of spider webs right now. The woods have just come to life. All this new vegetation. All right. Ooh. All right. I just stomped and stomped and spooked something right off the bank right here. We're going to come down in here a little bit. We are going to get past some of this poison ivy. We're going to start hucking and chucking here. Might forego the live bait for a moment. Only for a moment. Huck and chuck a bluegill swim bait around in here. See if I can have any luck with some smallmouth or northern pike oh no second cast right into a grapevine that's it nope got her oh my god I am on a roll Oh, mosquitoes know I'm here now. So it is with the skeeters up here, upstate New York. I'm right near a major swamp. Uh, no bug spray. This fishing trip here might be short-lived, guys. Let's try to fix on a worm on this rig here. We'll get to fishing it up. Now what I like to do is I run this two-way spinner, four beads there, a little swivel, and a split shot on there to help just help it get low. All right. I cast it on out there. I use my wife's rod for this. Slow reel her back. Just let it try to sit in the current a little bit and turn. Perch love this. Got one, got a fish. Oh, it spit me. I only got like eight pound test on here. It's my wife's rod. Freaking skeeters are so bad right now. I need a more split shot. I hardly fish like this, guys. This is, hard. this is, I don't have a lot of split shots. I had a bunch of tiny lead ones that were in my tackle box that I found when I was a kid. My tackle box from when I was a kid. Yeah, get a little further of a cast out there. Let that sink a little bit more. So I could get it going a little faster. Without rising on me so much. Gotta fix my worm. I'm about to lose it. Oh, I'm gonna be lit up with mosquito bites. Skeeters are so dang bad right here. Gotta keep moving. Skeeters are getting to be too bad for me, guys. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to stay doing this. They're everywhere. I'm about to kick more up just walking right through this. I'm completely covered. They're trying to go under my glasses and attack my eyeballs. Come on. Got one. Got a fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, small mouth. Come on, stay down, bud. Oh, that's a nice small mouth. Oh, yes. Ooh. 
That's what I lost earlier. Yes. Creek smallmouth. The live bait. Oh, that is what I'm talking about, guys. On a little spinner and a worm. One of the best creek fishing baits you can get. Great smallmouth. There are some amazing smallmouth fishing here in upstate New York. All right, guys. I'm going to let him back. Beast. It's pretty deep right in here. A few feet. Drops right down into the bank. Those smallmouth love this current like this. Yes! Yes! All right, guys, I gotta say, I'm not targeting these smallmouth. I'm out here targeting perch and other small panfish. Um, it's not legal to target bass right now with live bait. And I wanna make sure that's clear that I'm out there, or that I'm, I got that out, out in the open. That that is not what I'm here and what I'm after. Legally here in upstate New York. Whoa. Whoa. Legally here in upstate New York, you cannot target bass with live bait until the third Saturday in June. Now, I'm not normally a live bait guy anyway. I come to the creeks with live bait sometimes. Just a little nostalgic way of fishing like I did when I was a kid. Oh, got something following me. At least I did. Thought I saw the be orange belly of a perch. Holy skeeters. Tell you what, I'm not looking for them, but that bass was one heck of a fight. Especially for this light test, small hook, tiny rod. That was fun. I can't do it anymore, guys. I know there's good fish in here. But these mosquitoes, I don't know if you can see it, but they are insane. We're going to go to a local pond, I think. Where I know we've got some panfish. Check back. Unfortunately, there's a kid that comes here and he walks the edge of the pond with a freaking net. Spooking all the fish off the bank and he is just here. But it is what it is. We gotta, as fishermen, we gotta make the, make the best of these situations. So, Going for the panfish. Let's see what we can get. That was terrible. Talk about a wind knot right there. That might be it for the fishing on this rod. I might call it quits and just start a bed fish, guys. Bass. Right in the top of the mouth. Yes. Spot number two. Got a decent large mouth. clear this water as you guys see all those beds. Let her go. To 
broke off just fine. All right, we got a bunch of these pan fish out in front of us. Let's see what we can do. And a ninja creep down here. Oh my gosh, took my worm from me already. Okay, we're warmed up again. See how this goes. Bass just moved in. Big dog. Got one. Little little bluegill. Finally, I'm, I got what I was after today. Oh. Little bluegill. Looks just the same as my little swim bait. Go back to your friends, dude. Huge school of bluegill right now. Got one. Got a good one. There's a good pond bluegill for you. There's an eater. That I think just peed on me. That's a nice bluegill. Go back to your buddies. Man, you'd be an eater if I was in here to eat. Now for that little two-way spinning rig I was fishing earlier, I cut the worms in half. But for this tiny little jig, I've been cutting them in thirds. Seems to be working out really good. There's a whole school of them. This is almost cheating. Using worms. Got one. Yeah, he's been caught before that hole in his lip. A lot of people come down here and fish with worms like this. It's great fishing for the kids. Oh, get back on in the water, dude. Throw around the Kai Tech for a few and then I'm gonna go get my nephews off the bus. Can't be late. Got fish. Yes. The Kai Tech does it again. The little guy. Okay. Just a little guy. Hope the Kai Tech hit him. All right. A little bit better. A little bit better. Oh, he got hooked in my glove. Dang teeth. Turn around. There you go, bud. And he's gone. He's with his fish friends. All right. Another fish. That time, I ran it fast instead of slow rolling it. Uh-oh, this Kai Tech has definitely seen better days. Let's see if we can get one more fish out of this bait. Another fish. Oh, you spit it. Come on. Come on.
Got him. Oh, he came off from a distance to hit that. Yes. He came hauling a butt up for this, guys. This fish came cruising for it. Man, he's aggressive. All right, here we go. Cruising out there, he's fine. He doesn't know what the heck just happened, but he's good. Yes. Those fish destroyed my Kai Tech. I'm getting all my money's worth out of it though, I'll tell you that much. So I've caught a good mess of panfish today. I caught a small mouth, I caught a bunch of large mouth. Today's overall been a fairly decent day. All right, folks, now that is it for today. We've had a pretty productive day. I am not disappointed after the few month or so that I've been having. Did a few fishing videos for you guys there for a minute and then I fell off. My wife is eight months pregnant doctor's appointments all the time most of you guys out there probably know all about that stuff so i'm just preaching to the choir but i've been really busy life's been throwing me a lot of curveballs car just locked on its own life's been throwing me a lot of curveballs and uh just been trying to run with it i've been limited on travel been having a lot of car trouble had to replace all my suspension cv shaft a mess of different stuff if you guys like this video make sure you hit that like button and if you guys want to subscribe and see more stuff like this smash that subscribe button hit that notification bell or lfg likes to say hit the ding dongs and we can get you guys notified when i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching you're the best subscribers on youtube i love every last one of you see you next time